Hello guys and welcome back to TechWolf and today we are going to do CompTIA Tech Plus practice exam and this is already questions or these are already questions for latest CompTIA Tech Plus exam. And first question is a user forgets their Windows login password and does not have password reset disk. What is the best course of action? Reinstall Windows remove the hard drive and connect it to another PC, reset password using an administrator account, disable the password requirement in BIOS, or delete the user profile. And here the correct answer is reset the password using an administrator account. As an administrator can reset a user's password without erasing any data. And next question, and by the way guys, if you are interested to take or do these practice tests for yourself, go to Skill Test Pro, there are free three practice tests for all exams, for all CompTIA exams, for Microsoft exams, for Cisco exams, and these are very updated to the latest exam objectives guys. So, always, if you are going for these exams, for your company, Microsoft or Cisco, as these are all multiple choice question exams, do these questions as many as you can before your real exam. So you get used to the format of the exam, so as you get used to answering and reading and understanding these questions. So let's read this question. A technician is tasked with setting up a printer. So. Technician needs to set up a printer for a remote office where users will connect over a network. So we are setting up a printer for a remote office where users will be connecting over a network. What is the best method? So we understand by reading questions that we, as a technician for example, are setting up a printer for office where users need to where users need to which users need to connect over the network so pretty much over the internet so what is the best method for doing it and once we have a good understanding about what we need to do and what we are tasked with then by reading answer by answer by answer or answer options each of them we will be able to easier find the correct answer so set up the printer as a network printer this is the first connect the printer via usb to a single computer so we straight away start understanding that here something is not right why we would need to uh, connect printer to with USB to a single computer, share the printer from one workstation, use an older printer with parallel port connectivity, or enable Bluetooth printing. So, what would be the correct answer? And here, the correct answer is set up a printer as a network printer. As network printers, allow multiple users to connect without requiring a direct physical connection and this answer pretty much is telling you that uh, we are doing this as a network printer and here we also straight away see that in the question itself it was asking printer for a remote office where users will connect over the network so next question a user reports that their computer is making loud noises when running what is the most likely cause? So, the problem is loud noises when computer is on. A malware infection, a failing cooling fan or obstructed airflow, a corrupted operating system, an outdated software driver, or a slow internet connection. Which would be the correct answer here? And here, the correct answer is a failing cooling fan or obstructed airflow. If you would see in these answer options, like for example HDD as hard disk drive also has a moving parts, it is another thing which could cause loud noises. But as we are seeing here, failing cooling fan, as fans also has have their moving parts, 
they also tend to fail in our computer systems. So the correct answer most likely is a failing cooling fan or obstructed airflow. Yes, this is the correct answer. A loud noises often indicate fan issues or dust buildup causing the fans to work harder. And by the way guys, I am doing these questions with you together also for the first time. As I have not taken this exam also myself, I am just doing this for the purpose of the video. So if I will fail, I will fail together with you. As I have passed this CompTIA Tech Plus, A Plus, Network, uh, Network Plus, Security and many others, from other dividers like Microsoft and Cisco exams already hundreds of times and I know that if you want to really prepare for these exams take at least 500 to 1000 questions for yourself before your real exam. Firstly this will allow you to learn faster because when you are doing these exam type questions before your real exam you are getting used to multiple different subjects or exam objectives which are on real exam by doing these exams not only studying for one because if you are taking a course or something like that you are studying one subject then another subject then another subject for that particular exam but if you are doing these practice tests you are pretty much answering the mix of different subjects and your head is getting used to it and start easier to learn and understand and whenever you don't understand or you want to check why this or that question is like this you can always use google or uh, search on youtube or you can study this particular subject in more depth if you are not strong in it so next question a company wants to limit employee access to specific websites during work hours what is the best solution install antivirus software manually block websites on each employee's computer limit internet speeds use firewall or connect filtering system require employees to use personal devices for browsing and here the correct answer is use firewall and firewalls are for our network protection. Firewalls and content filters can block access to non-work related websites efficiently. A user complains their laptop does not charge even when plugged in. The battery icon shows plugged in, not charging. What should they check first? Try another power adapter, reinstall the operating system, turn off Wi-Fi, change the laptop screen resolution or replace the laptop's RAM. And correct answer here is try another power adapter because there might be a problem with your power adapter rather than the computer or the battery which is in the computer. A faulty charger or power adapter is common reason for charging issues. And as you know, there is also a circuit breaker in some of these ad power adapters and this circuit breaker might simply be br uh, go off and that's why the that charger or power adapter also wouldn't be working. A technician needs to install an operating system on multiple computers quickly. What is the best method? Install from a USB drive on each computer separately use CDs to install on each machine, use network-based PXE boot installation, manually download the operating system on each computer or install from a recovery partition, which would be the correct answer here. And the correct answer is use network-based PXE boot installation as PXE boot allows installation over a network saving time compared to manual installations. A network administrator needs to set up secure Wi-Fi network for employees and guests. What is the best security protocol to use? VPA3, WEP or WEP, Open Network, Bluetooth Pairing or MAC address filtering.
And here the correct answer is WPA3. As WPA3 is the most secure Wi-Fi encryption protocol providing better protection than VPA2 or WPA2 or outdated WEP security. As we already don't use this WEP as it is already outdated for our Wi-Fi encryption or Wi-Fi protection. A user plugs in a USB flash drive, but Windows gives an error stating the device is not recognized. What is the best first step? Try the USB drive in another port or computer. Format the USB drive immediately. Uninstall all USB drivers. Restart the router. Disable antivirus software. So, what is the correct answer here? And here, the fastest and easiest way, because as IT technicians, or the, uh, we usually do the fastest and easiest, most logical way. And that would be try the USB drive in another or computer. As testing the USB drive on another port or device helps determine if the issue is with the drive itself or the computer. A technician installs a new SSD in a desktop computer, but the BIOS does not detect it. What should they check first? So, we install SSD on computer, on desktop computer, not on laptop, but the BIOS does not detect it. Oh, uh, so, what should we check first? Reinstall the operating system. Ensure that SATA and NVMe drives is properly connected. Replace the SSD with an HDD, enable network booting in the BIOS, or check if the power supply is faulty. And here the correct answer would be to ensure the SATA and or NVMe drive is properly connected. If a newly installed SSD is not detected, the improper connections or incorrect BIOS settings are common issues or causes. A user reports that their laptop screen occasionally flickers and goes black, but the system remains powered on. They recently connected an external monitor, which works fine. What is the most likely cause? The external monitor is interfering with the laptop's display. The hard drive is failing. A loose display cable inside the laptop. The laptop battery is low. Or the CPU is overheating. So, a user reports that their laptop screen occasionally flickers and goes black. So, screen goes black and flickers. But the system remains powered on. So, the computer is on, but our screen is going black or flickering. They recently connected an external monitor. So, we connected external monitor to our laptop, which works fine. So, there is no problem with our drivers, most likely. What is the most likely cause? And here the correct answer is that that could be caused by a loose display cable inside the laptop. As you know, your laptop screen is also connected to your motherboard. A loose or damaged ribbon cable connecting the screen to the motherboard can cause intermittent display issues.